The point when self-development can really become destructive and ruin your life is, let me be honest, healing is tough, inner child work is no walk in the park, going on a self-development journey really is not all butterflies and sunshine. I have been studying self-development to the bones since 2007. It's a beautiful thing. How do I know and how do I figure out what is right for me? Hi, I'm Catherine Louise. I'm a business and mindset mentor and I help women become their best self. So if that is something you're interested in, please make sure to subscribe and follow to not miss out on any future episode. When we are in an unfulfilled state, maybe we're even anxious or depressed. We tend to look for answers and advice in self-help or self-development. And it is important to understand at this point that the reason for that state of being is very, very personal and different for every person. It is so important to understand that and be aware of that because as we are looking for answers and specifically advice in this enormous, oversaturated, crowded self-help, self-development space, and don't get me wrong, I'm so happy, <laughs> so happy that people are actually opening up to self-development and understanding that they're not the victim to their circumstances, but instead actually move beyond that, that, you know, they just really want to work on themselves and heal and all the things. However, if you are about to embark on this journey, it becomes even more important to find the right book, to find the right mentors, to find the right podcast and video. Oh, hi, by the way, <laughs> just to really feed yourself with the right kind of information and advice so it will not ruin your life after all. Let me be honest, healing is tough. Inner child work is no walk in the park and just going on a self-development journey really is not all butterflies and sunshine. Most of the times when people decide to actually be on that self-development journey and want to really become the better version of themselves, I believe oftentimes they're not aware of the fact that you will actually need to dig deep to actually make that work because there is a reason for this unfulfilled state right now. And in order to become a happier, more fulfilled version of yourself, you will actually need to work through all of those layers. So you might want to ask right now, so how do I actually know which book, which seminar or workshop, which, you know, video, podcast, all the things, how do I know and how do I figure out what is right for me? Well, first of all, it is important to understand that this self-development journey should be all and only about you. You should be in the center of attention. All of this should be about you. The point when self-development can really become destructive and ruin your life is when you try to do all of the things, when you try to follow all of the advice, all of the routines, all of the tools. When you get up at 5 a.m. and start meditating, oh no, but then the other coach said I should actually start by going for a walk or drinking hot water with citron. Oh, whatever. And then actually just going through the day following a trillion of different routines, just because all of those people and books and workshops recommended it. However, where is you in all of that? The self-development journey should be all and only about you. And this is, I believe, the most important and very first step you have to make. I have been studying self-development to the bones since 2007. And 
Believe me when I tell you that for one problem, there are a trillion of different methods on how you can work on that. And there are so many different approaches and people telling you, oh no, but you have to do this. And ah, uh, but the other person is saying, no, actually you want to do it this way. All of this can be so overwhelming and confusing. And instead of moving out of this unfulfilled state, you're just even going to be more confused as a consequence. Most important and very first step is that you really try to be calm and slow down and actually figure out what is resonating with you. What is speaking to you? What does that little inner voice actually tell you? Does it feel comfortable with the idea of this approach or is it actually feeling uncomfortable and just really telling you, hmm, I don't think this really feels good to me. All of the different approaches, all of the different teachings, neither of them are completely wrong, false, or not working. Remember, as I said in the beginning, for Every unfulfilled state or anxiousness or even depression are different reasons. And different people need different approaches and tools. So all of that is fair. But what I'm saying is it is your job and your job only to figure out what is working for you. When the daughter of your friend's brother has been following X, Y, and Z, reading the books, and it has been working so well for them. And you follow that just because of. It is absolutely not wrong to trust a person that you know and what has been working for them. But I would just love to encourage you to remember that it is important that it is working for you. So don't feel bad and don't feel like any kind of guilty conscience if it isn't working for you. Also, while there are so many beautiful different options in self-help and self-development, as in you can listen to podcasts, you can watch videos, right? Hi! <laughs> or you can read books, you can do seminars and workshops, or you could work one-on-one -on -one with a coach or mentor. Hi! <laughs> because that's what I do, right? However, I would love to encourage you to actually start with something that feels accessible for you. Don't overwhelm yourself because you just want to have those quick results. Self-development and self-help, that really is a journey. It is not a one-size-fits-all overnight quick success kind of solution because after all, you are a living and breathing being and just as we're growing older every single day and just as we're developing every single day, every single year and most likely 10 years from now, you're just going to be a whole different version of yourself because of that. It's a beautiful thing, but what I'm saying is you're never going to be done <laughs> because life is just a constantly moving and changing thing and that, in fact, can be a beautiful thing, too. So what I'm basically saying, maybe right now it is best for you to read that book or listen to the audiobook. Or maybe you have been on this journey for so much longer and you figure all of the, you know, workshops and videos and stuff. It's just not enough for you anymore. You are ready to take that next step. Then maybe it is time for you to work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, to have a coach, to have a mentor. But again, you should really pick somebody. And I'm saying that as a mentor myself, because I know that there are so many people out there trying to be a mentor, trying to be a coach, telling you everything that has been working for them the solutions they have found on their journey, what, you know, has actually brought them to the space they're in right now. However, remember, it should be about you, your coach, your mentor, whoever you're working with, maybe a spiritual leader should be making this about you. As a mentor or a coach, it is always their number one job to support you so you can figure the things out. They're supposed to be guiding you, to be holding your hand, 
not telling you what to do or let alone what has been working for you. And this is why you want to do those 10 steps, foolproof things that is not working. And actually it is really somebody you want to stay away from. So don't be obsessively blindly following a trillion million different kind of tools and approaches because after all, they would ruin your life. Instead, in order to have a beautiful self-development, self-help journey and experience, it starts with the very thing that what the whole thing should be about to begin with, with you. Even if you have been making overwhelming or even disencouraging experiences before with self-help and self-development, I want to encourage you to listen to your inner gut, to listen to your heart. What do you need? Because after all, self-development can mean very different things for all of us. And maybe it is the very best self-help thing you can do right now to not listen to anybody and just to be quiet for a minute, not have all of the teachings and approachings and all of the things in your head and be buzzing with all of the noise. Maybe it is just good for you right now to stay calm and let it sink in and heal. And then when you move on, you do whatever you feel what you need. You know what I'm saying? If there is just anything, I would love for you to know after watching this video or listening to the audio podcast, I myself as Catherine Louise would encourage you for whatever reason you have click on this video or listen to the podcast episode to trust yourself even if you have made bad experiences before. That just solely means you have lost connection. And that probably because there were too many opinions in your head. You know what I mean? I bet you do. Because when we lose connections to ourselves, that oftentimes is a result from too many people and too many op opinions around us. And that in fact would mean you would really have to strip all of those and just solely focus on yourself. And no matter how that is going to look like right now, I want to encourage you to follow that because that's all what it is about you. I kept on repeating in this episode that this is supposed to be all about you. And if you now feel like, oh, but isn't that actually selfish and maybe just the idea of making this all about you is giving you a guilty conscience. No, listen, you have this beautiful experience called life. You have this body, you have this mind. It is your job and your job only to make sure you are okay and good. You cannot hold anybody else responsible for your well-being than you. So you might as well make it your top priority to really make sure you are okay. And especially as a parent or caretaker for other people, those people will benefit from you being well so much more than you hustling and bustling and being unfulfilled and anxious or even depressed, right? This is your life and your life only. And remember, you can and you will be and do anything in your life that you desire to be or do. Thank you so much for listening and watching and I talk to you next time. Bye.